Hi there. I wanted to share something with you real quick. Uh, if you're if you're looking to use the uh, Fender Mustang Micro Plus as a as a digital audio interface, but you'd like to use it with some uh, different amp modeling software, you don't want the patch that you have on the Micro Pro going into the uh, the other amp sim. I'm using Bias FX2. This may not be sufficient for your needs, but uh, if you put up a, one of the clean patches, like the Studio Preamp, the Studio the Studio Preamp will be the input to your amp modeling software. You can't completely mute the clean signal that comes in from this because it goes it's going out it's going out the uh, the Mustang which I have which I have right there so. So you just want to get it down low enough. I mean, if this is something you're interested in, it's a really fast interface. Um, I've got it down to 32 frames. Now with this patch, as you see, there's nothing except this studio preamp. Everything's almost flat. Come on, 50. Everything should be double tap returned to null. Developers, developers. I guess they don't want to pay for that. Anyway, everything's flat. The gain's way down. I mean, it's like, what, 10? Let's see. Uh, okay, so it's about 10%. The volume is about what? It's uh, about 40%. Yeah, you can hear it in there. That tiny bit of clean signal. <laughs> It's coming in, so you got a low, very low gain input. Which you can boost in the input in your signal chain. You get 48K, 16-bit. show you AUM hmm. the idea was to have both both applications available to use. This is perfectly usable. Um, I don't hear any of the. Oh no, that's that's my mic. Yeah, I don't hear anything bleeding through. So what did I do? I turned it down all the way. Turned it down all the way. What about the gain? Ah, okay, so it is passing it. Well, if you can live with that, then that's how that works. Otherwise, you know, use it as it's intended. Just use the internal sounds in uh, in the uh, micro. But that's that's uh, good to know for me because there's a lot I like about. Bias effects. But if we go back to AUM, or actually, let's we can take this out, go back to Fender here. 
go to a patch. sounds good to me. I'm really pleased that uh, at this purchase. So you get the idea. You've got both available to you to use. As, uh, oh, somebody was, there was a lot of whine. Somebody was getting a whiny sound out of, uh, out of the USB use of the micro. Use a high gain patch. Uh, have to get right up. <laughs> unless you, unless you lay on your iPad. I don't know if you heard any of that. I have a bad ground, but um, it's it's quiet. It's ultra quiet as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for liking. I appreciate it. See you next time with something. I don't know what.